As has already been said, it's great that you uh, allocated $1.3 million to body cams. What's the point of them if we can't see the footage on them when there's an allegation that someone was assaulted uh, and that their dog was also attacked? The reason I'm here uh, is because dozens of people in this community and hundreds more who live just outside of it kept contacting me anytime I would post about anything, anytime I'd comment about anything, asking me to please shine light on what's happening here. And I did that. I'm not the only one they asked, and when the national news agencies that are asking me for an update on when I leave here uh, I, that I'm talking to, when they ask, this isn't a story that's going away when it comes to Joshua. It's only beginning. What I'm asking for, I know that you don't have the direct authority to call for the footage to be released, or you don't have the direct authority to release the footage, but you can call for it to be released. You also have the power of the purse over the police department. You can lean on the police to go to the judge and say that they'd like it released. As we are often told by government, if you have nothing to hide, then you have nothing to fear. So let's see the footage. Now, Besides the fact that it appears that Joshua wasn't even alleged to have committed a crime in the first place, uh, there's also the fact that the, uh, the arresting officer's father appears to be uh, in internal affairs. So another thing that you can do is request that SBI do a full investigation of this case and what happened with it. That's another thing that you can do. With Pastor Moses... With Pastor Moses, it's even more easy. You recently sent him a really nice note telling him to stop feeding homeless people. Uh, in that note, you also told him, uh, or stop sheltering homeless people, I'm sorry. But in that note, uh, you said that uh, they are a church and need to operate as a church. Now, I'm Jewish, uh, but I have lived in a Christian area long enough to know that my understanding of a church is that one of the things it's supposed to do is to help the poor and those in the most need among us. So it sounds like they were doing what they're supposed to do as a church. Not that I'm sure why that would be anyone else's business, but regardless, there's a simple solution to that too. Let them do it. Let him help those in need. There's no need for taxpayer funding or anything else. Just let him do it. Thank you for your time. Uh, thank you for having us here. Uh, everybody's here is uh, involved in the community one way or another. And we have this gentleman here that's also a member of the community. He doesn't have a home, but he lost his best friend due to being in the community. In 2021, uh, WCNC reports that uh, this council started an intergovernmental agency task force on homelessness. Yet here we are. In 2022, there's still no accountability. We're still fighting. He's still waiting to get the body footage from the rest of the cameras. He's, only, he's been allowed to see two of the many cameras that are around him, that, of part of which you guys made sure the funding was available for. Who is the victim? The state can't be your only victim here. The state is not a victim. An entity is not a victim. Mr. Rohr and his now deceased dog, they're the victims here. They're people's sons, daughters, mothers, fathers, brothers, sisters, and they're out there sleeping on the streets. And it's not right in our community, in our society today, that this is happening. I think at this point it's a travesty that we have a homeless person who has spent over $10,000 in legal fees defending against a misdemeanor panhandling charge because we're not releasing body cam footage. All we're asking for is for private solutions to work. Pastor Moses is out there feeding people every single day. Um, and I see that the police just got $1.3 million for new tasers, new body camera equipment. Uh, but that $1.3 million probably could have done a lot more being dedicated to help our homeless problem, especially if it's not going to be used to keep our police accountable. And I think we're making headway, but there's a lot of work that we need to do. I'm just here to be a voice for them. And, and just please, please, Listen. What I can't understand in this case is that the body camera footage has been blocked by a judge and, and y'all have done nothing about it to demand that release for a misdemeanor panhandling charge. This isn't some grand felony case that they don't want footage getting out because it might ruin further investigations. As a police officer, as somebody who has protected and served, okay, I don't understand why you wouldn't want to release that footage. If the cops did nothing wrong, then release the footage, right? Because it shows that you were in the right. But is it because there's something in that footage that shows that the police officers that were on the scene were wrong? Gastonia has on their website, Gastonia's core values are accountability, inclusiveness, safety, professionalism, honesty, and integrity. Now, 
I want you to ponder those words. And is anybody in authority upheld those words in the past six to eight months or even the past several years? Mayor Reed, um, I come before you asking why you have not taken action. When you posted on your Facebook, you said, actions speak louder than words. And I commented on that post, and you blocked me and deleted that comment. You most certainly did. And I find it really interesting that you would do that when I called you to action. And Chief of Police, Gastonia Department, Chief Britton, I'm appalled that you have seen that body cam footage of them assaulting me and tasing sunshine from behind and not firing those police officers and charging them and letting them continue to work. I'm absolutely appalled, and you should be ashamed of yourself. Just like Travis Page trying to press charges on me after seeing that footage, and I'm sure you may have seen it as well. This is sunshine right here. I'm carrying her around with me. This is her vest that she was wearing when she was attacked and tased. This is the back of her vest. That's the taser dart sticking out the rear of it because they shot her from behind for no reason. They attacked us for no reason. I was in compliance. Even though I didn't have to be, I was in compliance. You can do better. Yes. You can do better. You can call. You can call for an outside investigation into this police department. The officer that shot Sunshine, his father, Maurice Taylor, is head of IA. That's why this has not gone anywhere. This has not gone anywhere because y'all have not called anybody in. This is not going to stop. We are not going to stop until we get justice for Sunshine and for me. What you did to me, what you let your police officers do to me. Your time. You let them do that and you let them continue to do that. They need to be off the street. They need to be off the street. You separated his service dog from him. That is a federal crime. A federal crime! Nothing short of despicable to not use your power to get Josh and Sunshine justice. Because they deserve it. Sunshine was not just his pet. She was his service animal. That is not a pet. That is a family member. That is a partner. They took his partner from him. Release the body cam footage and justice for Joshua Rohr and Sunshine Ray. I have been working with Joshua since March to get him off the streets. I am also one of four people that have seen this body cam footage. I've done my time in Iraq. I've pulled my bodies out of Katrina. I've almost been killed. This footage, if you guys have not seen it, I'll give you all the benefit of the doubt, needs to be out. It is that impactful. It is that much of a disgrace as a former law enforcement officer myself to have two people in that position representing your community. The dog, Sunshine, was nowhere near him. Sunshine was doing what she was trying to, trained to do. She was trying to get to Joshua to calm him down. Our homeless community is transient. Their complaint was that he didn't have a proper ID. A, v a VA ID card is a federal ID card. Something has to change. This is decades of an issue. And whether you guys realize it or not, it is affecting your community. I personally have not spent a dime in Gastonia since this happened. Being in Shelby, this was the place to be. I know other people feel the same way too. I'm not going to point fingers, but we need to worry about our own neighborhoods.